Welcome back all Foxes Games UK new and existing subscribers. Your support for this channel is absolutely phenomenal. Thank you. It is Friday, November 8, and the release of Death Stranding. I'm so excited. My copy arrived this morning. I've yet to play it since I wanted to get this video out to you all first. I'm Fox, your reliable source of aggregated video game news, speculation, and rampant rumor. News source links are available in the video description. In today's video, super, super massive changes continue apace at the home of PlayStation Sony Interactive Entertainment. Recently appointed Sony Interactive Entertainment CEO Jim Ryan is rapidly evolving SIE in preparation for the company's next-gen console, PlayStation 5, which the company says it will launch with much fanfare holiday 2020. It is apparently clear Sony PlayStation are taking the video game market even more seriously than it did with its 103 million selling PlayStation 4, now in its sixth year on the market, certainly the equivalent of a senior citizen, really in terms of hardware years. It would be a bit of an understatement to say that there's some industry movement and shakeups going on at Sony Interactive Entertainment, starting with a new studio announcement sourced via GamesIndustry.biz. SIE Entertainment's newly formed open studio support located in Malaysia when its doors will open at some point in early to mid-2020. The new Malaysia-based studio will provide art and animation as part of Sony Worldwide Studios. This news comes by way of the Malaysia Minister of Communications and Multimedia, YB Gobind Singh Deo. Here's a quote. With this establishment, Malaysia will be working closely with Sony Interactive Entertainment Worldwide Studios to create more opportunities for the local and regional games industry. He went on to say, together we will work to uplift creative talents in Malaysia and even establish a partnership with our local educational partners. This is to ensure that the accelerated growth of the industry in our country will be supported. Sony Interactive Entertainment President and CEO Jim Ryan added that the impressive talent and vibrant game ecosystem and support from the government are key reasons why we have decided to take our partnership with Malaysia to the next level. The new Malaysia office will provide animation services to developers building exclusive PlayStation 5 games. In other related Sony Interactive Entertainment news, universally praised PS4 exclusive Horizon Zero Dawn developer, Guerrilla Games boss Herman Hulse, has been appointed PlayStation's new head of Sony Worldwide Studios. Former WWS lead and extremely likeable longtime PlayStation executive Shuhei Yoshida will be taking over and overseeing indie dev team relations. PlayStation named Guerrilla Games Managing Director and co-founder Herman Holtz as its new head of Worldwide Studios via a series of tweets with Holtz starting the role immediately managing all of Sony's game development studios across its 14 internal departments. Now the changes are part of Sony Interactive Entertainment's restructuring ahead of the launch of PlayStation 5. It also really comes a month after the departure of Worldwide Studios Chairman Sean Layden and more recently Gio Corsi who had up the ill-fated PlayStation Vita portable software division. Speaking to GamesIndustry.biz, PlayStation CEO and President Jim Ryan said that Holt's appointment will prove Sony is very much thinking globally as it moves into the next generation. Here's a quote from the Sony Interactive Entertainment CEO. Herman is a European who will be taking one of the major offices at PlayStation. I think everybody in Europe should be thrilled and happy and proud that this is happening. He went on to say, Herman is one of the most effective, well-respected leaders in the video game industry. He is a passionate advocate for the teams he leads and understands how to empower creative talent to build great experiences. I have no doubt Herman can lead our teams to deliver compelling and diverse experiences at a steady cadence. Hmm. So, Guerrilla Games is best known for the Killzone series and Horizon Zero Dawn and most recently worked with Kojima Productions on Death Stranding, replacing Holtz, Angie Smets, Jan Bart Van Beek and Michel Van Der Lue will take over as joint studios heads at Guerrilla Games. Herman Holtz said in a statement, I have worked closely with PlayStation and the entire Worldwide Studios family since 2001. I have the utmost respect and admiration for the creative talent and ambitious ideas within the network of studios across the US, Europe and Japan. 
As for Shu Ayushida, Jim Ryan said, Everybody knows just how passionate Shu is about the independent games. They are lifeblood of the industry, making our content portfolio so special for our gamers. These wildly creative experiences deserve focus and a champion like Shu at PlayStation will ensure the entire SIE organization works together to better engage with independent developers for a culture of supporting and celebrating their contributions to PlayStation platforms. Yoshida's new position is part of a new initiative celebrating external developers that are creating new and unexpected experiences. Yoshida-san will report directly to CEO Jim Ryan. Hmm, now things are certainly getting interesting at PlayStation ahead of the PS5 launch. Moving on, Sony CEO Jim Ryan intimated in an industry.biz interview that Sony Interactive Entertainment had to make big changes to deliver the PlayStation 5 dream. So it'll be really old news to anyone who follows this channel since I reported via FGUK News and the Gamer Couch podcast that PlayStation is centralizing its operations into one global organization. And let's be candid, restructures are never painless, particularly when you consider that PlayStation 4 is now a very rare member of the the 100 million club. But if it isn't broke, why fix it? Well, according to Jim Ryan, it isn't about fixing anything, but rather getting ready for what's about to come next. Here's a Jim Ryan quote I think most of you will like. PlayStation fosters gamers who are networked, engaged and very passionate about PlayStation, to an extent that we've not really seen in previous generations. As we transition towards the next generation PlayStation 5 in 2020, one of our main tasks is to take that community and transition it from PlayStation 4 to PlayStation 5 and at a scale and pace that we've never delivered on before. Ryan went on to praise PlayStation 5 development. One thing that makes me particularly optimistic that what we're hearing from developers and publishers is the ease in which they are able to get code running on PlayStation 5 is way beyond any experience they've had on any other PlayStation platform, including PlayStation 4. And we're confident in what PlayStation 5 has to offer. There is plenty more to announce beyond what has been shared this year, and I'm personally focused on the games, games that will make or break PlayStation 5 just as they do every platform, in order to really deliver on the PlayStation 5 promise. Sony Interactive Entertainment simply had to globalize. Hmm, straight to the point there. So the Sony Interactive Entertainment CEO went on to discuss its game subscription service PlayStation Now and why Sony has resisted putting new games into the service day and date in much the same way that Microsoft does with its Game Pass subscription offering with every new Xbox first party game available to subscribers day and date and I quote the nature and scale of some of the first party games that we're making leads us to think that it's a better way to spend energy on making sure that the launch of those games is a massive entertainment event. I would cite God of War, Spider-Man and The Last of Us 2 next year to fall into that category and given how our first party IP is incredibly special and valuable to us, we just want to treat them with amazing care and the utmost respect and have those launches be clean and pure. And that's that. Wow, what an incredibly reassuring series of quotes from the global Sony Interactive Entertainment CEO, Jim Ryan. I'm sure you'll agree. And people were acting concerned when news of top brass Andrew House and Sean Layden left. But I understand not everybody likes change. I myself had reported on all of this way before this news broke, actually months ago in that, that expect a lot of Sony Interactive Entertainment departures as the company looks to centralize operations, but oh how I was shot down over this news piece, even though everything is proven to be correct and true, when will they learn? Look, I'm not about to stroke my own ego here, but I can really only rely on myself, I can rely on absolutely nobody to stand up and say, yes, FGUK was 100% bang on the money at that time because nobody remembers you being right. They only remember trying to prove you wrong. Sadly, it's mostly just me, myself and I out here in these YouTube streets. So some people are just simply not interested in facts. They're just dying for you to make a monumental f up so they can stab the fox in. Sorry to burst those negative bubbles, but someone like me is just too informed in this game for schoolboy errors. How many times have I publicly stated Sony would never, never devalue its first party studios and exclusive AAA IP by dumping them day and date next to commercial failures, really commercially failed third party games via PlayStation Now in the same way Microsoft does with its 
subscription service Game Pass. Sony care too damn much about quality and the respect of its first party studios and rightly so. Now the truth of the matter is, a lot of the naysayers know nothing, diddly squat, absolutely nothing about this business. So please sit down and leave it to the professionals and those who are really seasoned in the industry. And hey, you never know, you might just actually learn something in the process. How about that? But for everyone else, what say you? Go ahead, sound off, share your thoughts and opinions on today's news because that, unfortunately, brings us to the end of another video. But let's continue the discussion cordially in the comments. And for all your current and next gen news updates, rumor and rampant speculation, confidently hit that like button, spread the word, and yes, keep it locked to Foxy Games UK. Remember, relevant links where applicable can be found in this video's description. And to stay up to date, you'll need to subscribe to Foxy Games UK. You'll also rem remember to hit that notification bell so you never miss content. Thumbs up if you like it here. Yes, thoroughly important. And help us reach more like-minded gamers simply by sharing the truth and this video. Consider supporting Foxy Games UK via Patreon and grab yourself a Foxy Games UK branded t-shirt or hoodie available in various colours and designs. You'll find both links in this video's description. I truly appreciate the support. But that concludes our time together today. It was certainly great hanging out. Catch me outside. Actually, no, catch me later on the uh, BitCloud Gaming channel for Real Gamer Talk RGT, where no doubt we'll be discussing a lot of this again. But until the next video, certainly enjoy your weekend and remember... Play games, not corporations.